Hello friends and residency candidates. Today, let's talk about what to do if you are unmatched or partially matched on Monday of match week. So there are a few critical steps that you need to take in order to be most successful during the post-match soap, should you be participating. Now, if you haven't already watched our video on how to prepare for the post-match soap, make sure you do that. And being prepared is the most critical step because coming into match week with a knowledge of how soap works and what you need to do if you're partially matched or unmatched is extremely important. So let's say that's the case and you're participating in the post-match soap. Of course, the only place that you can get the list of unfilled programs is through the NRMP. So the NRMP is going to provide the list of unfilled programs to all candidates who are SOAP eligible, who are unmatched or partially matched. And that is at 11 a.m. on Monday. Now, you have from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., one hour, to start researching programs. And from 12 to 3 p.m., you can start applying to programs before ARIS starts sending those applications out to the programs at 3 p.m. on Monday. Now, it's extremely important that you are among the first applications to go out. And keep in mind, you only have 45 applications during the post-match SOAP. You cannot send any more than 45. So from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., you need to be researching programs. And we're going to demonstrate the electronic residency program compatibility search database, which is an essential post-match tool to use during those critical hours on Monday. And from 12 p.m. to 3 p.m., you're still researching and picking and applying to your top 45 programs. Now, again, you can apply during the rest of the post-match soap, but there's no point in waiting. Although there are multiple offer rounds, it's extremely important that you get your application out as quickly as possible. And that's why fast, accurate program research to find compatible programs is extremely helpful during the post-match soap. Now, once you've researched and applied to your 45 programs, honestly, there's not much else you can do because you cannot initiate contact with programs during the post-match soap. So it's extremely important that you don't initiate contact during the post-match. This can exclude you from the match and can have um, consequences that last through this application cycle and even beyond. So make sure you are not reaching out to programs. Of course, you should already have your space set up where you will be able to take interviews, whether that's a phone interview or a video interview during the match week. And these are gonna be coming out quick and they're gonna be shorter than regular interviews, of course. They're not gonna be many hours long in all likelihood. So you have to be very ready, make sure that your lines of communication are already prepared, your email, um, phone, video, everything is all set so that you can take those interviews. And of course, you need to be watching the timeline for the offer rounds. It's extremely vital that you do not miss a single offer because if you get an offer during the two hour offer rounds and it expires, it disappears permanently. It's not going to come back. So it's critical that you're very vigilant and prepared for those offer rounds. So if you do get an offer during those offer rounds and it's acceptable to you, then there's not much of a reason that you shouldn't take it unless you have multiple offers in one round. Um, because if you do get an offer, there's no guarantee that more are gonna come in the subsequent offer rounds. So now, as mentioned, we're gonna dive into the post-match program compatibility search database through electronicresidency.com. And this is gonna show you exactly how you can find all the most compatible programs in an instant once you get that list of unfilled programs from the NRMP. So let's dive in. All right, so here we are at electronicresidency.com. We have created our profile and input our applicant credentials, as well as activated a few specialties to use during the post-match SOAP. So on Monday, if you are unmatched or partially matched, you want to log into electronic residency and go to the program compatibility search feature and then what you're going to do is essentially copy and paste the ACGME codes of the programs 
of the specialties you're interested in from the list of unfilled programs from the NRMP into the search bar here to get an instantaneous program compatibility result. So I just have an example list of programs that does not reflect the unfilled list whatsoever. They're just examples. But so we would copy the ACGME code and put it here, press search, and we have a compatibility. So this is perfect. Um, you can star the program if you would like to keep this one as a starred or bookmarked program. You can see the minimum requirements here and then our disclaimer about the USMLE Step 2 CS. And of course that has been um, suspended and now permanently discontinued for this season. So you're not gonna see the CS requirements here for that reason. So again, you would just um, copy and paste the ACGME codes of those programs from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. roughly on Monday and you would start building your compatibility list um, based on your searches. So for all the programs that you're compatible with, though they will automatically save to this compatible programs list. So we're just gonna keep going, doing a few examples here. And you can search in any specialty that you have activated. So another compatible program, perfect. Let's check this. And you can see how quick this is. Uh, it's really important that you're able to build your compatible programs list expediently on Monday because you do not have a lot of time um, programs will start receiving those applications at 3 p.m. on Monday. So you can see that this program we're not compatible with based on the minimum score as well as it not being IMG friendly. So that's two very important considerations. Um, now we have another incompatible program. Again, we don't meet the step one minimum score. So of course we want to avoid applying to programs like that. We'll do one more example here and we have another compatible program. So as I said, your compatible programs will get saved to this compatible programs list. And you can see that they're split up into specialties and we have certain programs that we have bookmarked. And if you want to only see the bookmarked programs, you just click start only and that will show you the bookmarked programs. You can uncheck that and we can minimize the specialties or just focus on one specialty at a time. And there you have it. So essentially we have created our compatible programs list very quickly. And now we have a much better idea of where we can send our 45 applications during the post-match soap. All right, friends. Well, thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope this has been helpful to give you a game plan for Monday if you intend to be participating in the post-match soap or if you're worried that the post-match may be on the horizon for you as well. If you do have questions, feel free to reach out to us. If you want help preparing for the post-match, give us a call and we'll be happy to help you. All right, thanks so much everybody. Take care and best of luck.